Hey everybody, how's it going? So for all you bass players out there who still haven't clued into what's going on, a few weeks ago I released my SMG cock blocker noise gate, which is a side chain noise gate, and um, it's a limited run special edition kind of thing, and we are already three quarters of the way sold out on the pre-order. Pre-order is supposed to last to December 14th, but at this rate I'd be really surprised if it lasted to the first week of November. Anyway, I did a video where I shot out the Boss NS2 versus the Cock Blocker, and a lot of you guys like that, but a bunch of you guys left some comments, and uh, this one in particular grabbed my attention. I'm gonna say what everyone else is saying. Cock Blocker versus the Decimator G-String. Hell, put the Cock Blocker up against the Decimator G rack unit. We all know the NS2 ain't shit anyway. You have a sick pedal there, but is it really the best? We'd all like to know. Well, Justin, I think that's a fantastic idea for a video. I don't have the rack unit, but I do have the Decimator G-String pedal. So tell you what, let's get right to it. Let's put it to the test. Okay, so the Decimator G-String is very similar to the cock blocker. Both are side chain gates, both use four cables. One going to the guitar, one going to the front of the amp, and then two going to the effects loop. The whole idea is to not only gate the signal of your guitar, but gate the noise coming off your effects loop. And the ISP Decimator is definitely a standard. It is an absolute fan favorite, and it really does the job well. If we take a listen here, like it makes your amp silent. And it's really great. You just dial it in with one knob till you get rid of that horrible noise. And you find a threshold that you're happy with that you can get a good balance between nice, heavy, chunky rhythms and some sustain. Yeah, if I want to tighten that up a little bit, I can just move the knob over a little bit and... Yeah, that's really tight, but the trade-off is, of course, sustain. Yeah, it kind of goes away pretty quick there. But I mean, like, you know, the cock blocker is kind of in the same boat. The big difference I've noticed, uh, say, between the decimator and the NS2 is the decimator doesn't fuck with your tone the way an NS2 will. But uh, let's check it out against the cock blocker and see if there's any difference at all. Okay, we got the cock blocker in place, and it's definitely doing the exact same thing. It is getting rid of that horrible noise does the job. You know, I've got it kind of set up to my favorite there. It's right around the maybe the 10 o'clock position. Really does the trick. Now, if I want to get some more sustain out of this, I can just pull it back to about the 8, 30, 9 o'clock position, and it's pretty good. Just gotta have a slightly lighter touch on the strings. Now, just for a little further comparison for tone, I've got a track I did a couple weeks ago for the previous video, and I reamped uh, the same guitar going through both pedals into the same amp, same mic, same configuration, same everything. And we can take a listen, see if there's any change in tone whatsoever. All right, so I'm going to switch over to the multi-track here and show you guys the difference between the sound of the G string and the cock blocker noise gate. Now, what I did here was I took that track I did a couple weeks ago and reamped it uh, through the through the amp using the exact same setting, same mic, same everything. Uh, the only variable here is the gate pedal. Just want to show you guys the tone differences, if any, between the two pedals. So yeah, once again, same performance, same everything. Here we go. Here's uh here's what the cock blocker sounds like. and the decimator. Doesn't sound like much of a change in tone, if any, uh, to my ears. So let's take a closer listen to that. Let's solo that up. Here's the cock blocker. And the G string. 
I think that's pretty freaking identical. You know, I could be wrong. Like, let's check out a different section here. Yeah, pretty similar. We got like a little bit of an Iron maiden -y piece uh, further on in the song here just to show some, you know, more subtle playing. <laughs> So there's that, and uh, very ending, you know, we do a little bit of real subtle picking. Again, it's really hard to tell the difference between the pedals here. You know, it seems to be pretty, pretty similar stuff. Once again, you know, the tails are really tight on both. So there's not really too much of a difference between the two. This will cost you 226. This will cost you 219. This is with uh, shipping worldwide. Uh, this will get you free shipping, probably from Sweetwater, and if like you're an Amazon Prime member, that kind of thing. If you're located elsewhere in the world, you might not get the free shipping. I'm gonna say I do notice a pretty serious difference in weight. It feels like this is about twice as heavy as this one. The other difference is the decimator has a battery compartment, whereas the cock blocker does not. This one needs a power supply to run. But then again, you know, we thought we'd try and cut down on environmental damage, so there is that. Uh, another difference is, yes, this is really nice chrome and it's a nice solid build, whereas this has a fire-breathing rooster on it and is a limited edition and adds a serious cool factor to your pedal board. So once again, the SMG cock blocker noise gate is three quarters of the way to being sold out on the pre-order. So if you want to get in and get one, you better move quickly because they're going quick. And I don't even think we're going to make it to December uh, with the available units. So uh, thanks again for watching. Thanks for checking it out. And follow the link in the description below and get yourself a pre-order to the cock blocker today.